In 1842, Shelby, North Carolina was officially organized. This is the Shelby Town Square. Years ago, there was a revitalization effort that took place, and we've sought out a local authority on preservation, the former mayor, Ted Alexander, and he's gonna tell us about all the great architecture in this area. Ted Alexander! Carl, how are I'm you? Great. Good to how see you. you. Yeah, I'm doing good, doing and good. And here we are in this beautiful town square. Beautiful well, weather. you call it a court square, though. This is our historic court square right wow. here. Wow. When was the square built? Well, the square itself was laid out in the 1840s. Okay. The courthouse was built in 1907, and you know, it really reflected the period of classical revival architecture. You can see uh, Corinthian columns. You've got the, the balustrade at the top of, of the roof line there, and then it has four domes and then a center dome. And in the center of the dome is a sort of a classical revival cupola. It's to hold the, the flag up there. And this was all to say, look, we are America. I mean, it reflected our values at the time in terms of how we respected our governmental system. We were proud of these edifices. We built them to bespeak our democracy, our republic. Well, we owe a lot to our forefathers because a fellow named James Love, when the county was formed in 1841, he and a couple other guys went to Washington and they were so impressed with the grand boulevards that had been laid out for the nation's capital. They literally laid out this court square as you see it now with these streets and these four streets are named after generals in the American Revolution. We were facilitated by a professor from NC State and he said, look around, your town is dying. You need to do something dramatic. So Shelby is part of the USA Main Street program, right? Or Main, uh, what is it called? Main Street. Main USA? Street is just okay. part of my Main Street program. It was born out of a desire to help historic courthouses, and the reason that they needed to look at more than just the courthouse and what was causing deterioration for the courthouse was also had a relationship with the downtown. So a healthy downtown area would, of course, support a healthy court courthouse. Square. Yes, and that's of course exactly what has happened here in Shelby. Ted, this Methodist church is beautiful. It was built in 1924. It's a Gothic revival style church. You notice the towers, how they're supported by these stepped buttresses. Uh-huh, sure. And then at the top, if you look, you'll see crenellation. Those are two distinctive features of Gothic revival architecture, as are the Gothic arch where the bell tower is on the left, and continued along with the stained glass. And then you've got these very nice concrete bands. I think it's timeless. I mean, I know it's an old building, but it, it looks is. like it could have been built yesterday in this style. It looks it, so fresh. It really does. And the whole purpose of these buildings, the way they were designed, was they told a story. So it they seems have... like the designers of this era, because they did this with the, uh, the courthouse, and it, there were items that are incorporated into the design that meant something. Next, we took a trip to the Charles, where Ted proved their buildings are as beautiful inside as out. Originally a combination bank and hotel, after a fire it was reopened in 1928 as the Hotel Charles. This would have been the lobby from 1928 here, and you see it's still pretty intact. It's got the great terrazzo floors, the very high paneled inlaid ceilings. Even the original light fixtures are still here. So you would have come up and you would have done this. Hi, how are you? We'd like a suite for four. <laughs> okay, sir, the only room we have available yes. today is room 212. 212. Uh, 12. Is that the haunted room? That might be the haunted room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a, an original key. You know, I've heard a lot about 212, and I don't think it's big enough for my party, but thank you. Carl, we're coming up now on probably, I think, one of the most magnificent buildings in all of uptown Shelby, and actually one of the most impressive in the state. Wow. This is the Masonic Temple. It was built in 1924, and this is one of two known examples of what they call the Egyptian Revival style architecture. The way the building reads is you've got three sections vertically of the building which actually create a column, okay? You've got the base, which is comprised of these lentils, and on those lentils are sunburst motif with serpents. Okay. So that's the serpent. Egyptian. That's, that's the, the Egyptian component. Influence. And then you've got three fenestration uh, areas here in the front that sort of lift up like a column. And then at the top, you've got this heavy cornice. So the building was built as sort of this column piece. This was one of the first major projects done as a part of the Main Street program in Shelby back so in 1983, 84, 85. So yet another example of these buildings that were built right, they were built to last, and now they have a new life. 
After learning all about the historic architecture of the Shelby Town Square, Ted suggested I check out their most famous eatery. I don't think any visit to Uptown Shelby would be complete without a visit to the Shelby Cafe. It didn't start here, it started across the street in the 1920s. Moved over here probably in the 1940s when the neon sign was put up. And we're the official liver mush fall festival in North Carolina. And the Shelby Cafe is the purveyor of liver mush here in town. I've arranged for you to meet the owner. So if I know George very well, he's probably going to put you to work. Well, I'm used so. to that. I'm used to that. <laughs> so Ted, good. thank you so much. All right, I really listen, appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks a lot. All right. Hello, George. Hello, Carl. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I got you ready. I need some help today. You need some help? Am I going to get to see okay. how the liver mush is cooked? You're going to cook it yourself. Oh, well, I bet you've cooked a lot of liver mush. Yes. Right More than I eat a lot of it, too. You eat? <laughs> okay, here we're going into the holy grail of Shelby That's Cafe. That's right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there everybody, this is liver mush. I'm going to refer to this as country pate. Go ahead, put it on there, let it cook. Okay, I'm an official liver mush cooker. This is exciting. You did it right, yes, sir. You're hired. Order up. Look at the size of those biscuits. We mix them here in the morning. So every day they're fresh. Was that part of Shelby Cafe back in the early days? They used to biscuit, yes. So that's a tradition. Made out of scratch, yes. Since 1922. Correct, yes. Wow. There you go, you do it with one hand. That's good, you're doing good. There you go. Then deliver much. There you go. Then you slice the cheese. It's gonna melt it right there. Put it right there like that. There you go. Look at that. And you've eaten a few of these too, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to some of you folks out here, but I bet they love it. Well, it's good to meet you. We're glad you stopped by. Thank you, George. Yes, sir. I really appreciate, appreciate you. It. Yes, sir. Revitalization, I think, really is sort of enlivened Shelby. Mr. King. In the small towns where the values of America are truly played out. Oh, now that looks good. There's so much more to see in Shelby. When in doubt, knock them out. And when we come back, we'll see it in style. Shelby, North Carolina, what an experience! Don't go away, there's much more to come.